What is up guys, this is Gamecast bringing you a war recap. The war went down between the rejects and Istanbul with the final score being 57-50. to 50. Today we are going to take a look at 3 attacks from this war. But first let me show you what either clans did to their opponent's bases from the war map. Istanbul came into this war with 1 Town Hall 11, 3 Town Hall 10s, followed by 6 Town Hall 9s and the rest being of lower Town Hall levels. Whereas we came into this war with 1 Town Hall 11, 2 Town Hall 10s, 4 Town Hall 9s and the rest of lower Town Hall levels. We were clearly overshadowed in the Town Hall 9 department and we had to use a few dip attacks to clean up. Now with that being said, the first attack that we are going to look at today is on their number 5. This attack is done by Chi Chi from our clan. But first let's look at the base. The base looks like an anti 3 star base with asymmetric setup. Chi Chi is going to bring in a Gola Loon on this base with a naked queen walk with heroes to kill the queen. Let's hop into the replay to see what he is going to do to this base. Chi Chi is bringing in a golem followed by his royals and a jump spell to access the enemy queen. He is going for a suicide enemy queen kill with his king followed by targeted loons to lure the CC. His queen is going to walk in and the new well updated poison spell is going to help him to take out the enemy CC. His queen is going to pop the ability, take out another AD and the Laloon part starts. Lava Hounds are targeted to the AD followed by targeted loons and his spells in a horseshoe manner. He is using a surgical way of deployment with haste to supplement his loons and help them move quickly through the base and quickly within seconds this base is left with only two teslas and a archer tower that can actually harm his loons and he has three unbroken lava hounds this this new meta of the game with loons is very quick and very efficient and we i encourage all of the new fellow clashers to try this attack strategy using loons Let's hop into the next attack. The next attack that we are going to see is on number 6. And it is done by MSH. First let's look at the base. The base looks like a pretty symmetric base. An internet style base with well spread out uh, uh, symmetric sides and AD placements. Let's see what MSH does to this base. He is going to use a hawk to lure the CC. <coughs> and then the, his queen comes down with a couple of healers to t eliminate the CC with supplementary wizards. So this helps him to save the queen's ability. The queen is going to create one side of the funnel and his army composition shows Pekka's. So I am guessing it's a HPHB. And a baby dragon comes in to make the other side of the funnel. And wizards are also dropped. Followed by his king and Pekka. Now they have a clean path into the center of the base. His bowlers and peckers beat through the wall and now they are going to reach the core of the base ripping apart all sorts of defenses into the core. Hogs come in targeting the peripheral defenses while they are distracted shooting structures inside the core. He eats a double giant bomb but is, he saves his hogs with a pretty well efficiently placed heal and now he is left with a queen, a king, a few peckers and bowlers at full health and this base is roasted. Let's go into the next attack to and see who is up next. 
the next attack that we are going to see is on number 10 this attack is a town hall 8 attack by our town hall 8 specialist Toretto let's see the base it's a completely maxed out base but a symmetrical one and Toretto is going to exploit the town, town hall 8 meta with hogs and valks and a golem I am guessing he is going to bring in uh, max valves from his CC and he is also rocking a quad quake he has lured the CC with his hogs and now he is drawing the CC on one corner for an efficient CC kill with wizards and barbarians for distraction his wizards are going to take out the dragon and the loon and is going to help in creating a funnel for his valves to move into the core a golem comes in to tank for the wizards while they efficiently make uh, the funnel a quad queen comes in clearing the path straight into the core <coughs> wizards create a pretty wide funnel and now the king is dropped followed by I think Valks come in right now targeting the defense always remember to leave out at least one building that the Valks can target so that they don't take a walk around the base King uses his ability clearing out the peripheral structures his hogs are deployed on the top but they target the bomb tower and eat an early bomb so he is forced to use a heal first but the valves in the core they eliminate the defenses so efficiently that he is able to get away with even a early heal and he though he is left with only one heal he is going to be able to eliminate this base completely now it's just a matter of time because he has got enough hogs and the defenses left on the base are not really st strong enough to take out his troops he has some valves a king in f of level 10 king at full health and he is just going to rip this base apart for a sweet three star for the rejects so that is it guys first war recap i hope you enjoyed it i'll be uploading war recaps and strategy videos in the coming days on this channel hope to check out if you like this video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel peace out I will make you a